gotten the traction that it has. Again, this is another thing that all the presidential candidates have agreed that it should be adopted and implemented. So and it will solve many of our problems. Why was the actions in this government? Didn't the president agree with it? I, I, I honestly don't know. I have not, you know, for, for, you know, for the past uh, three, four years, I have stopped trying to understand how the federal government works. Okay? I just focused on trying to make my state work because that's my primary responsibility. There are some things that we sit, we agree with the president, and he says this will get done, and it doesn't get done. And those that refuse to get it done don't get punished. So there are big questions when you say that. I mean, because right now people are wondering what is happening with your party's presidential campaign council. It doesn't appear that everybody is on the same page uh, singing from the same hymn sheet. So, for instance, if you have a president who is saying, you know, I don't want to remove subsidy because it's going to The hurt president the is not on the ballot. It, it, the it president has his tenure up to 29th May. He may not want to remove subsidy. But our party, if you look at our manifesto, we never promised that we're going to keep petroleum subsidy. We never did. Our party never promised that we'll redesign the currency. It's not in our manifesto. Well, these so are... you need to separate yeah. okay, the, the personal decisions of some people in the villa from the manifesto of the party. It's important to, so under to understand that. Is there a division? Because the people in the villa, some people will, say, so will argue that they're part of your party. No, the, m most of them are not. That's what is interesting. Hmm? Most of them are not. Is there uh, a division between those around the president and those within your party right now, you know, who, who, which is affecting uh, your party's presidential campaign council? I believe there is. I believe that there are elements in the villa that want us to lose the elections because they didn't get their way. They had their candidate. Their candidate didn't win the primaries. And I think they, they, they are still trying to get us to lose the elections. And they are hiding behind the president's um, 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 uh, um, desire to do what he thinks is right. I'll give two examples. This uh, petroleum subsidy, okay, which is costing the country trillions of naira, was something that we all agreed will be removed. In fact, I had a discussion with the president and showed him why it had to go. Because how can you have a capital budget of $200 billion for federal roads and then spend $2 trillion on subsidy? This was a conversation I had with the president in 2021 when the subsidy thing started rising. He was convinced. We left. It changed. Everyone in the government agreed. It changed, okay? Secondly, the second example I will give is this currency redesign. 